We're in today with the GTX Titan Z. This is a 2014 video card, and we're gonna see how it's running in 2023. We're gonna use this i7 9 gen because uh, we need a proper computer, you know, for this video card because it's got 6 gig of VRAM, 384 bits of bus width, DirectX 11, very sad, 2880 shaders, that's a lot, and on the core, actually, on one of the cores, because it's got two cores on the PCB, 706 megahertz per core with uh, 1753 megahertz per memory clock. Today we're gonna see how this video card is running because it's a, it's a two GPU video card. We're gonna take this video card today, we're gonna jump in some games and see how it's running. Let's go. Okay, by the way, the sound of the video card because uh, you're gonna hear this because I have to keep it on maximum on idle is 70 degrees. Okay, let's try that space. The, this is the 2008 uh, version because uh, it will be very wrong to test the new remake, you know, because it was released uh, recently. Instead, we're going to uh, test this uh, 2008 uh, Dead Space with this video card because it's running really nice in uh, SLI. This is an SLI video card. Theoretically, we have a chance on actually maxing out the game. So we can see how it's running on uh, maximum detail. 400, 300 FPS. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to go in display visual and try to max out the whole thing, yes? See, this is it. This is how you have to play. No, but if, if, uh, an RTX 4090 in the Dead Space remake and you get 50, 40 FPS. <laughs> wrong with you seriously the load on the gpu is good the cores are doing the job perfectly the temperature is mega loaded you know i, d I don't wanna i don't wanna stress this seriously weird as hell seriously i mean if you want to play the new one and you have a proper graphics card you can do it <laughs> i'll do it backwards you know i'll take a video card like this and go couple of years in the back and uh, yeah I'll play something older so I can validate my so I can validate my hardware nice MS nice FPS I mean it's 42 for half of the cores are loaded perfectly with this game yes now the wattage on this I cannot see it but it shows me the percentage of the power on the video card you know and I think it's it's understandable, you know, like 70% of the power that this video card is meant to be, you know. So this if this is, imagine, 375 watts and it's 70% used, 70% of the that power. Yeah, I want it. This is the top G game, seriously. Let's give it a save and we're gonna play something else because we have a lot of games that we need to play on this one. All right. Yes, that zone. Thank you. SLI approved. Yeah, I can't wait to test more games with this video card. Seriously, with this uh, game. Seriously. Let's test GTA 5 and see how it's running because this is theoretically a game that supports SLI. Uh, the only thing I will do, I will disable everything and put it on um, low details because no. Even though it's DirectX 11, it's got uh, uh, 6 gig of uh, VRAM per. Uh, I think it's per GPU, no? 6 gig of VRAM. The game is good on this type of video card with DirectX 10. Hovering around 90 FPS, you know, with a, with a proper 40% load on each core. This is interesting, to be fair. 60-70% on the power. You know, that means we are reaching a lot of uh, wattage soon. Seriously. The core is not maxed out, so it's not turbo, considering it's only 700 megahertz. I think it can turbo around 1000 megahertz, if I'm not mistaken, but, uh, but because it's only 30-40% load, they sit under uh, underclocked. So hence why we got 62%, uh, 62 degrees. A lot of uh, VRAM is used for this, uh, for this SLI configuration, you know, so 
hopefully in the casino we'll get uh, more uh, VRAM used. It started to load just a little more. 3000, yes, 3000 mega, look, look, megabytes, look, keep loading VRAM. 89 FPS in, in the casino with the GTX Titan Z. Considering this is a SLI configuration, yeah, I have a lot of uh, appreciation for the MS that is, this GPU is providing. You see the MS and the graph is very fluent with the SLI. Usually I have problems with the SLI, you know, but on this GTX Titan Z, it's very straight. Under 10 MS, and very, very perfect. You know, like barely I actually see some spikes there. Oh, fantastic. In 100 FPS. Yes, I love it. But after uh, walking around, uh, uh, driving around the city, I noticed that the VRAM is getting filled up. 3.6 gig of VRAM for individual core, you know, per core. But it doesn't, it, it doesn't load the cores. So if it doesn't load the cores, the, the power uh, on the video card is low. And the, the core frequency is low. The temperature is low. Everything is low when uh, you don't demand a lot of details from this uh, uh, GPU. Hence why I put it on DirectX 10 and show you how it's running like that. All right, let's try Battlefield. Apparently this game is gonna be legendary because it's very friendly with the SLI. So we're gonna jump in and um, of course I'm gonna put it on low details with uh, render scale 100%. Not even gonna bother with... <laughs> no, 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 no. This is gonna scale very nice and I want the best performance from, uh, from it. The amount of FPS this game provides with us, provides on this video card is astonishing. How many FPS you want? Yes. This is so insane. I love this performance. I'm actually curious, where's, the, where's everybody coming from? Oh my god, the video card is overheating, seriously. But it's doing the job. Look at it, the core is mega, uh, it's mega pushed in front, like what, 1000 megahertz on the on each core. That is boosted, apparently. Can you turn around? <gasps> Enemy hit! What a random kill I had. Seriously. Damn, I killed a- Oh my god, I killed a plane. It's impressive, it's uh, awesome, it's doing exactly what I want. The SLI is good with this. The scaling is perfect. I knew I, I, I had to put it on low details because it would have been horrible if I put it on higher details. Scaling, seriously. No. When it comes to SLI, I think this is the most important thing that you have to do. Select the games that are for, for your video card. This is the right game for SLI. Okay, so I have from now on force alternate frame uh, rendering too. That is forcing the GPU to run in SLI. So let's jump in and see how it's running. All right, let's see how Fortnite is running with performance mode on low. Actually, view distant thing. Everything is on high. Let's put it on high. This is really cool. Seriously, seeing this uh, uh, game running with an SLI, it just makes my heart like <laughs> i'm very happy that uh, the video card is performing like this seriously in sli very proud of the game that is even though it's a uh, force alternate frame render uh, scale you know for fa fr2 you know if in, even if it's that mode on it doesn't matter makes me feel better that i have sli seriously with this game it's working on 70 percent uh, both of the cores easy nearly to 1000 megahertz on both of the cores and uh, that is very good for uh, an sli gpu i mean a, a video card that has two bgas you know because you're both hit it at the same time let's take a look around and see how uh, everything looks because uh, usually i think he had always uh, problems with uh, this type of um,
Really? What did you try to achieve? Because I don't understand. Okay, this is gonna be funny because uh, Apex is known that is not working really nice with um, SLI, so it's forced with uh, FAFR. We wanna put it on uh, no, 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 low, lowest details because we want we want everything on low. Come on, <laughs> don't let it crash. We want to play just a little. You know how we're doing. 86 oh my god look how nice it's working in the air 82 fps in the air with 80 percent load all right two gig of vram used for this video card and apparently the core is maxed out hence why we have uh, the core clock and uh, one of the the core loaded it's gonna be interesting because we are going to see a lot of performance from this one when we hit the ground Love me an LMG. 82 degrees on the course. Oh, only on the first core. Where is, uh, I think it's closer to the, um, to the power stage, to the MOSFETs that is heating up 100%. That's the only reason it's uh, heating up so much. Okay, let's see. Let's see how uh, <laughs> Call of Duty is working with this video card. I, I don't think it's gonna run on SLI, but it's just for the memes. Uh, minimum minimum uh, details as a preset with 50% render scale, no upscaling, and on display, no dynamic resolution. All right, let's jump in into some Modern Warfare and see. If we can actually play the game seriously. This is gonna be a treat for us. Look at this now, seriously. So. SLI, does it work with Titan Z? No. It's working only one core, but it's got a decent FPS. Theoretically, 140 Rainbow! FPS. This is good performance, seriously. I can actually raise the render scale up. Nice. Wow, that was so f freaky. All right, I like the FPS the video card is delivering. Oh, but the only problem I have with this performance is that it's hitting up only one core, and I don't want. I want to put the both of the cores on. Okay, let's put some more render scale. Apparently, we can actually increase this. We can put it on basic. Let's try basic. We can actually. Oh my God, I can actually see it in basic. I can actually see the. Proper details, seriously. No, actually, I don't like that. Yes, that it is with uh, basic. Actually, I should adjust it. So, on basic, uh, it's much better. Good looking, but it's, I don't like it. I maybe put like 69. Let's try 69. Or in the L. I, I need the, the whole thing to pass 100 FPS for the cable. Seriously. To be fair, this is this is a, a really great experience with uh, this video card. Seriously, having an SLI in this game, it's impossible with this video card. But apparently, it gives you a lot of FPS. So 
you can really enjoy it. The only need, the only thing you need to do is limit the limit the whole thing. It's over, it's overheating. Okay, so if you didn't notice, this video call requires um, a lot of uh, preparation in order for you to find the right games for it. Um, a, a very cold room, you know. It's important to understand this video card makes a lot of heat in this room. It's very warm. In the, in the, I don't need nothing here. NVIDIA SLI with a GTX Titan Z. It's a very weird video card. It's very expensive. There's only a limited games that can support. I mean, the games are nice. You know, you can find a lot of people playing those games. For instance, like Battlefield 1. Uh, there's a couple of games like Fortnite apparently managed to... Uh, optimize it in such a way that you can work with SLI, you know, like seen Titan Z. Even though it's forced SLI, it does work. Um, GTA 5 still works on it. GTA 5 still works with SLI. So I'm 100% sure I will find more games. Uh, Black Ops is working. You need to have your own list of games in order to to benefit from this Titan Z. Secondly, the money it costs to buy this video card you can get a proper video card, like I'm not joking, a 30 series or a, a brand new video card from, doesn't matter, you know, an RX, IMD, RX video card. Can I validate this video card? Of course not. It's just for collection. It's, it's nothing else. You understand? It, it, you cannot justify the amount of wattage it's eating and the price from this, how much it costs to get one like this. You want to buy one? <laughs> <laughs> Why?